Hi everyone, Ivan is here and today we are exploring a programming language that probably you never ever heard of but that's a powerful, elegant and yet not quite in a limelight meet Red, the innovative successor of Rebol. Rebol standing for Relative Expression Based Object Language was introduced in the late 90s offering a fresh way to represent and exchange data. In 2011, Nedat Rakotsevich, inspired by Rebol's strong syntax and data structure, so that burst Red. Despite its innovative features and design, Red faced fierce competition from established languages. Combined with an initially restrictive license, its growth was stunted. While Red inherited much from Rebol's expressiveness, it ventured beyond. First, single executable. Red generates standalone executables. This means your program doesn't require an additional runtime to be installed on the target machine. Everything required for your code to run is packed into a single executable file. This simplifies distribution and enhanced portability. The second one, the better GUI support and GUI or graphical user interface is a crucial for developing desktop applications. Red has an integrated reactive GUI system, which allows for more efficient, flexible, and easier development of graphical user interfaces compared to Rebol, especially for prototyping. The third one, metaprogramming. This is the ability of the program to treat other programs or itself as their data. It means that a program can be designed to read, generate, analyze, or transform other programs and even modify itself while running. In Red, all this data and data can be code. This provides extremely flexible in the programming process, and I will show you later how. And the last one, more compact and efficient. Red is designed to be lighter weight than Rebol with a smaller memory footprint and faster execution. To start with Red, let's download Red compiler and CLI. For me, it's a Windows and I want to download the Red toolchain. This is everything together. So, download the executable file, we'll put that in the folder. I want to rename this folder to red.com. Exit. Open your favorite terminal, then move inside of the directory with the red.exe. This is a compiler of the red programming language. So let's run it. Now you see the options. It works pretty easily. We can build for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, FreeBSD, and etc. So the next step, you will want a good ID. For that reason, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code because it has a really nice extension for Red programming language. Extension with this sign. Let's implement a simple application in Red. A simple hello world application in Red. We so just specify the name. Hello Red. And it will take quite a long time the first time. Here we go. Now we've finished. So, it's taking a time to create the library definitions, extras, includes, and the DLL. And now we have our hello.exe, our executable. Let's run it. The hello red prints hello Ivan. Now, let's try to build a simple GUI application in red. Now, I'm using the word view, and it's literally the view, the GUI view. And here I can specify the text, Build it here. Now you have a simple view dot in the text hello world. Let's add something more. For example, the button. Click me. Now we have hello world. Click me. And then if I specify square bracket, this is the on click handler. Now when I click, you see the button is clicked. If I use the word return, it's not a function return, it's create a new row in your view. I can use the text new line. New line is here. Put them on one line. 
now we have hello world click me new line and two buttons also i want to share this very helpful website redbyexamples.org this website contains all of these commands from the red programming language including the gui tools and gui elements for example the button you can click here and then you can see some examples how the button works how the dialog works you can request file request directory and etc definitely helps me a lot and now we are ready to build something hands-on a calculator watch how easily we can do this in red I want to have a title for my calculator the calculator this is a title of the window then I can use this alias for my field and the size Font size of my text field 25 empty value inside then a new line let's continue now i want to define a style a style with a label b this is a button now i'm not creating this button because it's just a style now i can specify the button size and then the function and function must append the text from the button to the text field so append now I'm using the label F and this label F of type field and inside of this label there is a text then I want to append the button text contains the button title now I'm using label B and creating it with the title 1 now creating B with the title 2 and so on now only for this button with the equal sign i want to overwrite this function because for all of these buttons this function exactly the same when i click this button it use the title so the title equals to and append this title inside of this field but for the equal i want to do a bit different thing i want to attempt but it does it actually taking the string from the field and then execute this string as a red code and in the end i want to append then clear the clear first the text and append the calculation there this is my calculator now let's click for example the one plus nine equals ten when i click on the, any of these buttons it's just adjust or append the string, the title of this button to this field. So I press 8 and it's immediately inside of this text field. When I press minus, it's append space minus space. Then I can use 6 and it appends 6. Then if I use multiply, you can specify the 2. And then only for this button, I override it on click function. So when I click it, it used the string from this field be executed as a red code. This is a meta programming. How cool it is. Only 14 lines of code and you have a calculator. This is amazing for prototyping any GUI applications for the desktop. I'm really amazed by this concise red syntaxes. And the size of this calculator executable file is just 80 kilobytes. And this is a standalone application. You can send it to your friends. It doesn't require any, any libraries. Everything statically linked inside of this executable. That's right. An innovative successor to Ribble. Overlooked? Yes. Outperformed? Absolutely not. It's a language worth exploring, but the community is small and it's not actively developing now. So, it's definitely worth to try especially for desktop GUI application and prototyping. So you decide. Happy coding and see you next time.